It's beer o'clock on me and Earl Craft Beer. I was in Max and Spencer's just yesterday picking up their Platinum Jubilee Ale. And I come across a beer. A beer from Vocation Brewing Company that I've wanted to try for such a long time. And it was there. It was in Max and Spencer's. This is Vocation Special Edition Honeycomb Chocolate Stout. Now, I don't care what you say. That, for me, looks like, and branded like, a Cadbury's Crunchy in a can. Look at that. Tell me that is not Cadbury's Crunchy. You've got your slightly kind of purple Cadbury's look there. You've got your honeycomb look there on the... On the, the packet, if you look at a Crunchy by a packet, you've got the little kind of red... This is Cadbury's Crunchy in a can. £3.50s, available in Marks and Spencer. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Like your favourite chocolate bar with a boozy twist. They've even put that on the back of the can. So, I think Vocation are slamming it right now. They are absolutely slamming it. If your Vocation Brewing Company and you have this can of beer in your locker, which supermarket would you choose to put this beer in? I think they pulled an absolute blinder here. If you think of Marks and Spencer, if you think of, you know, the quality of the food in Marks and Spencer, the quality of the socks. I, I wear Marks and Spencer's underpants and socks. They last twice as long than any other underpants and socks than you'll get from any other place in the world. They're only a little bit more money. You're paying a little bit more money. The, the underpants and socks are just fine. The slippers are fantastic. If you could choose a, a, a supermarket to drop this in, a honeycomb chocolate stout, it would be Marks and Spencer's. I think Vocation have pulled another blinder here. Another masterstroke from Vocation Brewing Company. Look at the pour on this. Look at that quality. We got a two finger tan coloured head, jet black beer in the glass, good levels of carbonation. The ABV is 7%. 7 percent, 7 percent ABV in a 440 milliliter can. My goodness me. They must have a deal with Cadbury's. Cab Surely this has not gone under Cadbury's radar. Surely. The fact that they, you know, so blazingly wrote, like your favourite chocolate bar with a booty twist. You know, that's proper cheeky. But I love it. I love it. 7% ABV, good levels of carbonation, jet black beer in the glass. There's no light bleeding through this glass whatsoever. Whoa, it looks good. It had a two finger tan head earlier on. Now it's got a one finger tan colored head. Let's get the aroma. Oh. You can do this with a stout. I'll explain later on. If some people are already angrily typing Ah, but you don't like all these smoothie IPA, baby. but yeah, yeah. Um, you can do this with a stout. You can make a honeycomb stout. As long as you're adding roasted malt to the beer, as long as you've got a bit of roasted malt in it, you can do anything with a stout. It just works. It does work. I do like adjuncts in beer. I'm not one of those that will go, ah, oh, you know, every adjunct is wrong. I'm not one of those people. I think adjuncts in the right beer can be tremendous. But fruit smoothie IPAs? No, I'm not having it. I'm not having it. This smells delicious. Roasted malt, chocolate, coffee, caram caramel, honeycomb. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody.
You hear that banging? I live in a terraced house that faces onto the street. Sounds like someone's digging up the pavement. Anyway, back to the beer. It's interesting. It, it, it's really interesting. Um, I've got to be honest with you. It's quite raisiny. It's quite like raisin, plum, prune, fig. That type of stout. It's nice. It's very nice. Um, how do you pull honeycomb through? It's tough. It seems like the honeycomb at the moment, it might come through later on, but it seems like at the moment the honeycomb is just is just hidden away, lurking behind all of that kind of lovely stoutiness at the moment. You definitely get the chocolate coffee caramel. But it's, it's quite a hoppy stout. They've used traditional British hops in the beer. And when you use quite a lot of British hops in, in, in a more kind of, oh, can we call this a traditional stout? I don't know. It's a stout anyway. Let, let's call it a stout. Then what happens when you use more hops in a stout is that instead of getting grapefruit, orange peel, pineapple, mango, it mixes with the roasted malt in the beer and you get more of a darker fruit, naturally, I suppose, a plum, a fig, a prune. It's almost got like a, like a Christmas stout feel to it. It's very nice. It's very nice. But I think I probably would have preferred a little bit, if indeed they've used any oats at all. Some oats, a little bit more of an oaty creaminess. Maybe, and I know this is controversial because I always talk about not liking sweet beers, but maybe it could be slightly sweeter. Maybe it could have a slightly more chocolatey flavour to it. I mean, look at it. They've written chocolate bar on the side of the can and it more or less looks like a crunchy bar. If this had a little bit more of a... This is one of the rare times where I think you could have added a little bit of synthetic chocolate powder or something like that into, into a beer. Um, yes, it would have given a, a, a synthetic chocolate mouthfeel, but I think everybody was ready for that. Everybody wants that. But what you're getting instead is a slightly spicy, edging towards imperial stout, plum, fig, prune, traditional kind of strong extra stout, which is great. Thumbs up to Vocation for producing that beer. It is creamy, it is rich. Now I'm, I suppose, it's strange. Now I'm drinking more of the beer. Now I'm picking up more of the chocolate. It's a beer that's evolving. It's not overly cold, mind you. I've got it just under room temperature. I pulled it out the fridge about 45 minutes ago. My fridge is at four degrees. I like it. The more I'm drinking it, the more I'm liking it. Um... The more I'm drinking it, weirdly, the more I'm picking up chocolate. So I'm, I'm slightly backtracking a bit, but that's okay. That's absolutely fine because I find your palate can evolve with beer. Your palate can, can get used to the beer. You're still getting, you're still getting your plum, fig, prune, slight spiciness, slight bitterness on the back end. It's good. It's good. It's, it's kind of building on me. It's definitely building on me. Yeah, it was almost as if 
the, the top half of the beer was, you know, as I'm making my way down the beer now, you're getting, the, of course, gravity pulls down all of that. If there is indeed any sediment. Ah, there is. Yes, yes. Look, look, look at the bottom of the glass. There's natural sediment in the beer. So the more I'm working my way down, the more I'm picking up that crunchy chocolate flavour. So the beer's evolving. The beer's evolving. I started off with more of a traditional Christmas-like stout. And I'm ending up, as I'm drinking the beer more, more with this kind of what I wanted. What it said on the tin. This crunchy bar chocolate stout. It's lovely. It really is. It, it's really got me thinking. And I like beers like that because I've drank 8,000 I drank over 8,000 beers on the channel now and, and it's not often that a beer gets the old blooming cogs going. And I, I like that. I like the fact that it's evolving. It's, it's, it's pushing my, it's pushing me to think a lot with this beer. I like that. Thank you, Vocation. Thank you, Max and Spencers. Yeah, it's weirdly, really, really good now. Really, really weirdly, like, now it's Crunchy Bar. But, it, it, you know, if you're an experienced brewer or if you've been in a trade for a long time, you can see that sediment down in the bottom of the, the glass there. Let's give it a whirl round. Let's see if we can mix some of that. Recreate the head and get that sediment up in the glass. Let's see if we can really get it tasting like a Crunchy Bar style. It's still smelling like tobacco smoke. Tobacco smoke, pipe tobacco smoke, caramel, traditional stout. Traditional stout. But making my way down the glass, it's a lot more like it. Yeah, that was a strange experience. That really was a strange experience, honestly. That was like, wow, honeycomb chocolate stout. Yeah, so a sticky sweet stout with honeycomb flavours and a creamy deep malt base. It's luxurious, smooth and deliciously Moorish. Like, I'm going to read it one more time because I think this is really cheeky. Like your favourite chocolate bar with a boozy twist. Oh, they're really poking at Cadbury's, isn't it? They're like, ah, ha, 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 Cadbury's. Uh, there's nothing you can do because it looks like Wonder Woman. <laughs> um... I like that. I like that enough to give it the way that beer evolved, the way that beer challenged my palate like a beer has not done so for at least six months. I like that beer enough to give it a stone the crows. Nine out of ten. So nine out of ten from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.